Today, I'm going to talk about the definite article in English, the word the. If you ask somebody what the word the means, you'll generally get the response, oh, it's the definite article. But uh, what's that mean? Well, V has a function in English that has to do with whether or not the speaker assumes that the item mentioned is also um, something that the listener is aware of. For example, if I say a cat entered the room, that might be a random cat that just came into the room, nobody had seen a cat earlier. But if you were talking with your friend about, let's say, a black cat, and all of a sudden the black cat comes in the room, then you look and you say, the cat entered the room. The definite article is used to refer to items that have already entered the discourse, or that the speaker assumes that the listener is aware of. If I talk about a war, you don't know what war it is. But if I talk about the Zulu war, notice I can't say a Zulu war. I could, but then you would have to distinguish that there were several Zulu wars. And to give you an example, Britain for the long a long time was in a lot of wars. So if I say a war of Great Britain, you would still not know which war it was. Was it the American Revolution or was it somewhere else? Okay, so the word the actually means that the item I mentioned, the cat, the dog, the car, is something that I assume you, the speaker, knows about and that I am referring to this particular item, right? For example, if somebody keeps speeding down your street in a red Toyota and uh, you get really irritated by it, and your friend is irritated by it too, and then you're talking to your friend and you say, the car was speeding down that street again this morning. He knows with the V that you're referring to the car that had previously been mentioned. Where, as if you say a car was speeding down the street, it might or might not, and in fact would not refer to the specific car that you had discussed earlier, but one would assume, the listener would assume that it was another car. So, basically, when you're talking about the definite article, you're talking about a function for discourse of distinguishing objects that are already in the discourse one way or the other. But when I used to teach English classes, I would always ask my students, what, do the, what does the word the mean? And they'd invariably say, it's the definite article. Yeah, right. But I had one class and I asked the question, and one of my students kind of got a little glazed look over his eyes for a moment, and then he looked up, and he says, well, it's referring to a specific item. And I says, well, how did you know that? And he says, well, I thought the sentence, a cat entered the room, the cat entered the room, and then I thought, what's the difference? So, anyway, that's the definite article in English. Use this information as you will, and you can simply and easily smash the like button if you like learning about grammar.